अखंड इज आई डोंट सी अ डिफरेंस अखंड खंड इज डिविजन अखंड इज विदाउट डिविजन पर अब ब्रह्म दैट वन डिवाइन प्रिंसिपल दैट इज मैनिफेस्टिंग इट सेल्फ इन ऑल ऑफ दिस आई एम आई एम दैट आई एम अखंड पर अब ब्रह्म स्वरूप और अखंड पर अब ब्रह्म द इन डिविजिबल एब्सोल्यूट सुप्रीम आई एम दैट टू मी दैट इज द मोस्ट द ग्रेटेस्ट एम्पावरमेंट एफोरिज्म और एफोमेशन वन कैन एवर इमेजिन I know it sounds vague, right? You might say, "Yeah, that is all philosophy is good, but you know we are living in a practical life." I agree. I agree. This sounds vague. This sounds very abstract. This looks and seems very far off. It's simply because we have put it like that. If you start saying it, it will slowly begin to make sense. And Baba would not have given it to us. This Baba, who has touched millions of lives, would not simply give it to us. if you and i were not ready for it among 7 billion plus 7 plus billion people on this earth a few hundred million people are exposed to baba's teachings and if he has spoken to us it is these you and i a part of that we are meant to receive this we have evolved and we have worked ourselves you and i are sitting in this hall and re- listening to it again is because at some level he is guiding us and making us listen and this is where you got to go next start oh he is opening the doors for us otherwise he wouldn't have given to us on his birthday he said this is my gift to you this is my gift to you start saying this i am god i am god i am not different from god i am akhanda para brahm i am sat chit ananda grief anxiety can never affect me the more you say it the more it will stay away from you i am ever content i am ever content the more content you really feel in your heart and the more you thank for where you are here's the beauty of it the more you'll be given because you're building that reality of being content when you're more content more you'll be given and so you're even more content but when i'm discontent i will always be kept discontented because that is a reality i'm building am i right this is the reality this is what now modern psychology is understanding it what buddha said long ago what krishna said long ago yad bhavam tad bhavati as you think so you become if you are if you keep wanting something guess what you will be kept wanting because that wanting becomes your reality i want grace good for you baba will say good for you <laughs> that means what you will be wanting grace for the rest of your life say i have your grace thank you even though you may not feel it start saying thank you and then you will know that little grace comes in you will begin to recognize the grace in many forms that is actually blessing your life already and then you begin to say thank you i am content i am content and more grace comes and more content more content and this becomes so powerful vedanta was not meant to make you a beggar on the street not to make you a weakling not at all to make you unfit for the society that is why swami said it was taught to a warrior to go out and fight and become the best warrior but with the background of vedanta that powers you so it is meant to empower you fear cannot enter me period 